books that have influenced me. By C. V. Raman C. V. Raman Sir Chandra C. Karavankata Raman, an Indian physicist was born on November 7, 1888 in Thirukarapalli, Tamil Nadu. Studied at St. Aloysius Anglo-Indian High School. Topped in bachelor's degree at Books that have influenced me. Books that have influenced me. By C. V. Raman. C. V. Raman. Sir Chandra C. Karavankata Raman, an Indian physicist, was born on November 7, 1888, in Thirukarapalli, Tamil Nadu. Studied at St. Aloysius Anglo Indian High School. Topped in bachelor's degree at University of Madras with honors in physics from Presidency College at the age of 16. Appointed as the Professor of Physics at Rajabazar Science College. Associated with Banaras Hindu University in Varanasi and delivered lecturers on mathematics. Received the 1930 Nobel Prize in Physics for discovering modified scattering, Raman effect, and was the first Asian to receive Nobel Prize in any branch of science. Died on November 21, 1970 in Bangalore. Books that have influenced me. Published in the collection Lectures and Miscellaneous Writings in 1947. Indicates the influence of books on individuals. States the books which influenced the writer and its importance in associating with his life and career. Summary C. V. Raman starts the essay by stating the remarks of Robert Louis Stevenson saying that it is difficult to speak of books that have influenced one without finding an autobiographical essay. Books have played a great role in molding the man's outlook on the problems in life. The mental outlook is also influenced by the environment and the school in the early age of a person. A good home and a good school can be judged by the books they prefer to mold the mind of the growing people. The books which are formally taught in the schools have a profound influence on the mind of the student. The teaching and learning in the early age occurs between the choice and the compulsion. He states an example from his own life which happened some 45 years ago. He states that the story Kidnapped written by Robert Louis Stevenson was prescribed as an English text for first arts course. He is not sure how many times he has read the work during the two years. He purchased a copy of the book and it was missed during the course. He tells that before some two years he saw the book in the railway bookstall and purchased it. Before going to bed that day he read the book in one sitting. He felt that Stevenson has written with a magical charm which made him to read all his books with keen enjoyment. He has completed his schooling and the university examinations at the age of 18. During the course of time he has learned four languages and variety of subjects with university standards. He states the examples of the various subjects he has learned such as history, formal logic, economics, public finance, physiography, chemistry, mathematics, and physics. Though he read many books he states three books which helped him to mold his mental and spiritual outlook. He considers that the life needs a hinge or an axis to hauls on to make the life move. This according to him is acquired not from the love of science or from the love of nature but from an abstract idealism or belief in the value of the human spirit and virtue. He says that kind of idealism is got from reading the great book of Edwin Arnold titled The Light of Asia. He recollects Siddhartha's great renunciation and the search for truth and final enlightenment. This has made him to believe firmly that the capacity for renunciation is the essence of human greatness. He considers that the teachings of Buddha has not only influenced him but the whole of India. The next book he states is The Elements of Euclid. 
The dislike of its formalism has made the book dethroned from the position of being great but was praised by the learned world. It has attracted the writer as it has made excessive emphasis on the subject as an intellectual discipline. The book has made to analyze the minute aspects of the subject. He says that the real geometry appears as a whole and not merely as the properties of straight lines, triangles, and circles. Geometry makes a profound appeal to sense and intellect. Mathematics links what is seen with reasoning. Ancient Greeks loved geometry as it has intellectual value and a sense of beauty. At first the writer found it difficult to learn the formalism of Euclid and later perceived the fascination and beauty of the subject. He appreciates the central position of geometry in relation to all natural knowledge. He says that he can illustrate this with thousand examples and content himself with every mineral found in nature, the growing flower or fruit, living beings on earth. Everything can be observed with a fundamental role of geometry in nature. Archimedes occupies the great name in the world of learning. In the modern world he considers Hermann von Helmholtz as great personality with deep in knowledge and scientific vision. He is described as the intellectual colossus of the 19th century. The writer feels proud to posses a copy of the English translation of his work The Sensations of Tone. The work treats music and musical instruments with extreme clarity of language and expression. It helped the author to understand the scientific research and how it should be undertaken. He concludes the essay by saying that there was another book titled The Physiology of Vision which is not translated to English. For more videos, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.